everybody, Max MC from Fanfare here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. If you'd like, please follow me. I'll check out all the new books that will be coming out tomorrow. Starting off here in Marvel, we're starting off the uh, Curse of the Man-Thing one-shot series. Starting with Avengers Curse of the Man-Thing. There is a neat Gleason cover there if you've been up on the Spider-Man cover he's been doing. We also have a large oversized paperback of Fantastic Four Antithesis. Of course, variants up top to keep your eyes peeled. We have a new number one. It is a King of Black Time. It's Beta Ray Bill. Check that out. Come talk to Bill about Beta Ray Bill. Uh, we got Black Cat number four right here. We also have Captain America issue number 28. Keep your eyes peeled for all the Jen Bartel cool covers up there this month. We also have a King of Black Time with Ghost Rider right there, as well as Return of the Valkyries. A new number one. This is Silk with a really, really impressive cover, in my opinion. Lots of other variants, of course. Please check those out as well. And there's another Jen Bartel. We have a paperback for Shang-Chi. We're also looking at the third printing of Star Wars High Republic number two, as well as the second printing of Star Wars High Republic number three. So we also have another tie-in here. It's Symbiote Spider-Man issue number five. Check out what he's been up to in the 80s. We also have a The Union new issue there, US Agent. We also have X-Men number 19. Emma Frost, Jim Bartell. We also have X-Men Legends number two for the really cool uh, Adam X storyline with all the summers. It's actually pretty cool, 90s throwback. Uh, over here in DC this week, we're looking at Batman Catwoman. Really cool stuff. Looks like uh, Catwoman Beyond. Really rad looking outfit. We have Batman's Grave hardcover, Infinite Frontier, The Flash 768, uh, Future State Book, Superman vs. the Imperious Lex issue number three. We have John Constantine Hellblazer paperback, as well as a hardcover for Cami Garcia's Teen Titans Raven. Uh, to tie all the DC together, we have Other History of the DC Universe, as well as Strange Adventures issue number nine. Onto the image, we have lots of cool stuff to show you here. We're looking at Bitterroot number 11, crossover issue number four. We have Jonathan Hickman's Decorum issue number seven. We have later printing of Department of Truth here for you, uh, as well as others. <laughs> and a new issue of Department of Truth as well. Uh, we have, really cool here, this is volume two of Philadelphia, one of my favorite current ongoings. If you like vampire stuff and you like crazy, dark, awesome art, that's your jam right there. Uh, we have Noctera, later printing of issue number one, looking forward to number two. Uh, we have a new redneck issue, a new number one. This one was actually pretty cool. It's called Shadecraft. What if your shadow was alive? And what if other shadows were trying to kill you? Check it out, it's a pretty cool book with a Jacques variant as well. And here we go, it's spawn time. Looking at this 316 cover spread, really cool with the plague spawn. Awesome stuff, check that book out. One of my all time favorites. We also have Two Moons issue number one, a second printing to follow up with Two Moons issue number two. It's like a colonial civil war beast werewolf story. Pretty wild. Onto the indies. We're looking at real news hiding over here, but we also have Biden's Titans, bite sized cinema purgatorial paperback. We have Claim, The Courier, Cult of Dracula, new number one from Source Point. We have Dead End Kids, issue number three. Looking at another new number one here. This is from Black Mask. We're looking at Destiny NY. No idea what that's about, but it looks pretty rad. Let's check it out. We have Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Blood, number six. We have The Eighth Immortal. We have The Era of Great Wonder, uh, number three for Giga, number three for God Mode as well. Over here, we're looking at Grim Fairy Tales, Nixie of Mill Pond, issue 47 there. We also have a paperback called The Hazards of Love. Uh, back here, we're hiding is Hollow and A House Without Windows. We have I Breathe the Body, number three, crazy book. Uh, Kill Whitey Donovan paperback, Man's World, new issue there for that. Edgar Rice Burroughs, The Moon Maid, The Three Keys, issue number two. We're also looking at Nuclear Family, issue number two. Over here, we have Riptide Kraken. And Sea of Sorrows 4, really cool one. I did enjoy that myself. Some creepy mermaid horror. Uh, Shadow Service, issue number six. We have Spaced Out. We have uh, second printing of issue number two of Last Ronin. Don't mind the cover if you haven't read it yet. We have Terminal Punks, issue number five. Transformers War World, issue 28. And Mercandolfo's Unsacred, issue number five. And over here, hiding in the back, is Usagi Ojimbo Wanderer's Road with a beautiful Peach Momoko cover. We also have Black, I'm sorry, Van Helsing Black Anis. Really cool special there. Vengeance of Vampirella. Um, what is this? Wakamo, something or other. It looks cool. Check it out. Really rad indie stuff. We also have Witch Blood, a new number one from Vault Comics. We have a full spread here. Uh, these really neat tarot card style covers, as well as this throwback to Dazzler's miniseries from Marvel Comics. 
And to tie these up, young Hellboy. Can't go wrong with the Magnolia cover to tie the indies off. Onto the media, we are looking at Dragon Age Dark Fortress. We have Firefly issue number 27 right there. Power Rangers Unlimited issue number one. New cool series spinning off of that. Here's us later printing the Star Wars again. As well as one copy of Star Wars Insider Magazine with a really cool graffiti tag of Boba Fett. We have The Witcher Fading Memories. And that is your media books. Onto the indie, or not indie, I'm so sorry. Onto the kiddos. We have Dogman, Mothering Heights. Hiding back here, we have Frigil and Fluffy, I believe, from Minecraft. We have uh, Giant Mess, Corgi. We have Max Meow Donuts in Danger, really cool. Uh, Secrets of Camp Whatever. Sonic the Hedgehog, a new number one here from Marvel Action Spider-Man. This has been a really cool series for kids to get into if they want to get into the big characters without going into the deeper storylines. Marvel Action is a great series for you guys to check out. We also have Spring Cakes. Transformers My Little Pony, Friendship in Disguise, Paperback, and Wildflowers. So that's it for your kids. On to toys. Finish this thing out with some really neat stuff to show you. Starting off here, brand new from McFarlane Figures. This is the Mandarin Spawn. Really cool stuff. Really pretty packaging. You know what it is. It's awesome. And moving on, we have a gigantic Avengers Vibranium Collection hardcover. This thing is a beast. And your discount will apply for the first week. Like we always say, regardless of price, and it'll take a lot of money off this. Uh, onto some pins here. We've got a little Grogu and Django, not Django, I'm sorry, Mando, and some other stuff here. We have a Walker, some other Mando pins. We're looking at Wonder Woman 84, as well as a Harley Quinn keychain. Onto the import stuff, we have a Q Posket. Really cool. And we're also looking at a Naruto character. I don't know this guy's name, but I liked playing him in the fighting game with all the sand. He's really cool. We also have Superman Ascendant Gallery statue. Uh, for your awesome alien collection, we have a Marvel themed alien box. Really rad stuff. Going on a bug hunt. We also have a puzzle for Street Fighter. Really cool stuff there. Dawson blowing some fire. We have a Cobra Kai thousand piece uh, Karate Kid puzzle. Really cool. For your pops, we're looking at Vlad the Impaler to fill out the Dracula set. Wonder Woman Death Metal, which does have a chase here. This is a limited glow chase. Really cool stuff. Get that, we only have the one. Iron Maiden, this is Number of the Beast Funko Pop with Eddie. We have a Kenny Powers Pop, one of the good comedies. Love it, love it. Pinocchio, we got Jiminy Cricket and Blue Fairy. So that ties everything together. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I look forward to seeing the store. If you have any questions, get a hold of us at 269-349-8866. Thank you, and have a good night.